What's up all my stock market investors, it's your Don. I'm back again with another Cash App investing video. Today we are talking about some more stocks under $25 on Cash App that you should maybe or maybe not put on your watch list. It will be based on all the information that I share today. So before we get into everything, I appreciate everyone for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video because it puts a nice smile on my face. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into the good business. But wait, before I get into all that, I do have to mention the stocks group chat that is going on right now. Shout out to everybody in the stocks group chat. If you're interested in being in it, just shoot me a DM above and I will get you all the details you need to joining group that is always talking about building generational wealth. And I'm sure if anybody's watching from the chat, y'all can let the people know in the comments below. So let's get into it. I'm first talking about Glue Mobile, ticker symbol GLUU, currently trading around $7 as I make this video. And I was just digging through and trying to look for stocks that maybe someone just might find, someone just might run into just because of the price range, they're interested in it. So I'm here to either tell you some good stuff or some bad stuff. Now, I found Glue just randomly, the mobile game company based in uh, US, I believe San Francisco, uh, which is very good. Mobile companies have been doing very well. I've told y'all how well Zynga's been doing, Activation Blizzard has been doing great, Take Two has been doing good, although obviously September everybody pulled back. This is a good time to look into these companies because everything's being pulled back. Now, for the last three, past three quarters, uh, Glue Mobile has been beating expectations. They took their market cap from like 9 million to 1.5 billion uh, over the last quarter or two, which is really, really good. That means they're taking more market cap, which is a good sign. It's always a good sign for me, at least. Um, and they have more cash and revenue on hand than debt. So that's always kind of a good sign. Do your research on, on Glue Gaming, Glue Mobile, sorry, Glue Mobile. Do your research. Let me know in the comments what you think if you've already done your research, if you've heard of them. Um, I'm just kind of putting out some more stocks. I would kind of give, based off what I've seen roughly, I'd probably give a thumbs up on Glue Mobile and probably put them on my watch list. Next on the list, is GoPro. Now, GoPro seems, they used to be a company that was disruptive to the industry. Uh, but I just feel like the camera has evolved in so many different ways now that they're not as disruptive as they was before. The iPhone cameras are stellar nowadays. Damn near shooting 4K. Um, so at the time, GoPro, handful of years ago, they, they were it, like GoPro was it. And now they're just trading in, I think their 200 day moving average is like $4. They're currently trading at like $4,379 as I make this video. So they're below their 200 day moving average. Um, they have hit a five, uh, 52 week high of 579. So, I mean, this seems more like a pump and dump to me, but it is under $25 and I'm sure people have ran across it and maybe thought about it. Um, me personally, I just feel like they they have too much debt for what they have cash on hand. I think they're around 250 million in debt. Um, what else did I put down? They're oper they seem to be operating at a loss. So, but their their revenue is slowly trailing and their operating expenses are, are coming down. So these are good things that are happening within their company, maybe so, but if you're looking long-term, I just don't see GoPro being a nice long-term play unless they can come up with some crazy technology or partner with another huge company like, I don't know, maybe Tesla, Apple, something something big to make some type of a nice splash in the news and get some nice articles written on them. But other than that, I just don't think they're as disruptive anymore. Um, Although I love the GoPro, I have a GoPro myself. I think the, they are the coolest things ever. They can go in the water, they can, you can throw them across 100 feet and let them hit the floor and they'll still be intact pretty much. Don't try that at home though. 
But yes, when I'm thinking about disruptive companies, I just don't see how much more disruptive GoPro can be to the camera industry because I feel like the camera industry just did a, a whole 360, uh, you know, with, with the iPhone now. You know, some people are just, people are just vlogging off their phones. They don't even need cameras no more. Um, but for the camera lovers, we're still here holding down the digital scene. But yes, uh, you know, if, if you're looking into it for a pump and dump, put it on your watch list, do your research, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think about GoPro in the comments below. Have you have you researched GoPro? Have you thought about GoPro? I could be wrong. Maybe nobody was thinking about buying GoPro, but someone did mention it to me one day. So I figured, hey, let me not let me mention GoPro. But yes, would you rather invest in GoPro or would you rather invest in Glue Mobile? Let me know in the comments below. I'm interested just to see what y'all would rather do. Uh, like I said, Glue Mobile is currently trading at six ninety six. And GoPro is currently trading at 379. So I would probably lean towards Glue Mobile. I think they have more potential, more disruptive. Um, and just obviously the gaming industry has been doing very well in this recession pandemic era that we're in right now, which it hopefully all goes away. But I appreciate everybody for watching. Don't forget to put your comments down below and hit the thumbs up on this video. I appreciate, I appreciate you all. Take it easy. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.